Hello, my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews. I'm Jen, and this is my sewing room where there's been a fair amount of stuff going on this first week of January. You know how it is when you have wonderful sewing sisters that you meet with every Tuesday and you sew via Zoom. Everybody's in their sewing room and we just kind of hang out. And one of them starts talking about UFOs or UFOs, or which stands for unfinished projects, unfinished objects, or whatever you want to call them. Some people call them whips, works in progress, and that kind of thing. Well, that made me think about all my UFOs. And so I pulled out the bucket and I started going through it and I weeded through a few things that I thought, okay, you know what? No, that just needs to be donated because I don't want to deal with that. So let's get it out, clear it out, you know, organize. And I decided that I would go through and work on some things because some things I didn't want to get rid of. So with that in mind, I came in here this morning and I did something with these. These are Love Notions Duet Trousers. I made them in a purple ponte. They are so comfy. But this pattern didn't really work for my body. I think it works with this ponte because it's stretchy. Well, I wore them the other day to go out and run errands and they just kept falling down. And I thought, I initially made them with the waistband as it was cut on the pattern, which was really tiny. And so I took that off and expanded it and decided, okay, yeah, that'll work. Well, clearly that didn't work because they were falling down. So this morning I went in, I cut off the waistband. I redid the waistband and made it smaller than it had been. It still has another inch and a quarter probably added in. And then I put it back on, surged the whole thing. They fit, we'll see. The test will be when I wear them next, will they keep falling down? Will they, you know, when I move, will they not behave the way they should? I don't know. One other thing about this, I started thinking about this and I realized that my Levi's jeans, which are made like this with a yoga waistband, they fit differently than pretty much all the jeans that I've made with a yoga waistband. And I think it's because they don't have front pockets. They have back pockets, but not front pockets. And these have front pockets, but I think that tends to make it want to pull away from your body. And I wonder if in the future, when I make pants or jeans with a yoga waistband, if I should, maybe give the illusion of pockets, but stitch them shut. I always try and put a panel across the front, which is kind of a tummy panel that will pull me in a little bit because I need that. And I wonder if doing that and having the loose pockets is part of the problem. So we'll see next time. Those are taken care of. UFO that I was surprised at. I had forgotten that I made a Christmas skirt. I made a skirt for my eldest daughter, which was culottes that I turned into a skirt. Same with the Christmas skirt. And then I made it again for my youngest daughter for Christmas this year. I had forgotten completely that I had turned a culottes pattern into a skirt. I mean, and when I say I had forgotten, I didn't forget that I had done it. I just forgot the concept. So when I started pulling things out of the UFO pile, I had remembered that I had a pair of black poplin pants that I threw together one evening. Didn't take very much time. And it was a disaster because they were pants and they did not fit. Nothing I did made them fit. They were Butterick 5335. This is from 2009, and I wanted these. That's not what I got, unfortunately. But I started thinking about the way that I had redone those culottes, and I thought, why can't I make that into a skirt, those pants into a skirt? So I did. I cut them. I cut the inseam so that it's straight up and down instead of going out like that. And I 
basted it all together with white thread, obviously. So now I know that it fits. I just have to put the fly front zipper back in and put on the waistband and hem it. And I've got a black skirt. This is a black poplin that I had in my stash. I have no idea where it came from. And the only bad thing about it is that, oh my gosh, I'm probably going to have to walk around with a lint brush because it just picks up every little speck. You know, that's probably true of most things that are black, but I'm really happy that I, that that clicked in with me because now I'm going to have a black skirt. This is Simplicity 8588. It's from 1978. I really like this. I have had this pattern since about 1978 and I had never made it. Things I like about it the drawstring neckline, the way that the sleeves are cut in one piece with the bodice, so you don't have to set in a sleeve. It's almost like an extended shoulder or a dolman. And I love the way it looks here. And if I were 25, I would probably love it on me. This is a drawstring waistline. You could probably put elastic in it, but I didn't want to do, I wanted to do it just like the pattern showed. Well, you know, I'm much older now. While I still love the drawstring neckline and the sleeves, I do not like this waistline. So I had previously taken off the casing and I had put little buttonholes in to tie this through. So I know that I can't un do that. I can't fix buttonholes that have been stitched and then cut. So I started thinking, what if I bought a belt? Because there's a type of belt that I have wanted for a long time, and I don't know if it's going to suit me, but I'd be willing to try it. There are some on Amazon, but I think I can make one. And I think if I make it, I'm going to get much more what I want. So what I want is one that's elastic in the back and then comes down like this and then ties. I just think that would look really cool and be very flattering. If I can't do that, or if I put it on and it doesn't work, I still have a belt, which is nice because from time to time you need a belt. And if not, I can cut it off and make it a top. I could probably pull it in a little bit here or I could put a casing at the bottom just wear it like that I have all kinds of options there is an indie pattern which I cannot think of right now is it wilder down maybe that is this same idea but the sleeves are cut differently so this has potential I just need to make the belt try it on and if that doesn't work then cut it off and make it a top so a belt, I think I can probably do if I find the right one that I like. If I don't, then I'll make one. That's that. I have pieces of a packing cube that I took apart because I want to redo it. This formerly had binding all going around the edges and it was webbing and it must have been made out of something like cotton. It was this stuff which is like belt webbing. And when I washed the cube, it shrank. So I took it apart. This is a bigger one that I had done before. The other one was about that size. This is this size. And I really like the design of this. And I may make some more, I'm not sure, but I just have to put that together, which won't take very long because all you do is stitch it back together the way it went together before and serge the edges and top stitch whatever you want to top stitch and that's it you're done so that's that one i am also working on a remake of simplicity 8560 for my daughter it's view c i'm using this spandex that i got at spandex by the yard it's still available i'll link it in the description box below if you want to go check it out I like them. 
and I didn't have enough of it in my scraps or leftover spandex that I could use to make the lining because you have to line this. Well, I had made her shorts and I had combined it with this fabric. So this is gonna work great for the lining because I have plenty of it left. So I'll, I'll do the armhole binding out of this and then I'll just do the rest of it in this. And I'm saving the bottom band and also the straps, which I have cut to the right length for her. So that is getting underway. That won't take very long, although it'll take longer than some of the little other quickie things that I've got to do. That's all of the projects on my cutting table. I also went to Hobby Lobby and their Christmas is 90% off right now. My Hobby Lobby is such that you need to be there at the time that they open on the day that everything goes 90% off because by the time I got there in the afternoon, pretty much everything was gone. I did manage to find a tree skirt and I found some wrapping paper, both of which were good deals, but I walked around and I wasn't sure if maybe patterns were on sale. So I went back to the sewing area and turns out their sewing notions made by their brand, which is Sewology, were on sale. So, you know, half off of bias tape, I just think that's a great deal. So I picked these up. I got double fold bias tape in two different kinds of colorways. These are like a tie dye like a variegated rainbow kind of thing. These are bolder colors than these. And, you know, I use this stuff all the time. So I got, you know, five packages of those based on what they had there. And then I got the same thing in quilt binding because sometimes I want a wider piece of bias tape. Often I will make my own bias tape, but when I can use something fun like this, I thought, yeah, it's half off. That's everything. I did go back and try and respond to every single one of your comments from December 1st, which was the start of Vlogmas on. I love talking to you in comments, so let me know what you are up to. And be sure and check out all the other Friday Sewers. Just do a search in the YouTube search bar for hashtag Friday Sews and you will be amazed at all the people that are showing up that do a little bit of sewing, a little bit of life. And you might find someone that you really want to subscribe to. And I hope that you're subscribed to me also. Hit the thumbs up, hit the bell, hit all the things. And... As always, if you would like to see a playlist of all my Friday sews, you can check right over here and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.